Hello YouTube, it is I, Cinema Roll, here with the Blue Eyes Spirit Ultimate Dragon from the Structure Deck, Advent of the Eyes of Blue. I am here to show you four cards from my new Structure Deck. It's not reloaded because it's Spirit instead of Azure. This is a level 12 light dragon synchro effect monster made from two or more tuners and a non-tuner blue eyes monster. You can only use the second and third effect of its name once per turn. Your opponent cannot banish cards from your graveyard. This seems very deliberately designed just to stop the bestial monsters. When a card or effect is activated on the field, as a quick effect, you can negate the activation. And if you do, this card gains a thousand attack until the end of this turn. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one light dragon monster from your graveyard, except for Blue Eyes Spirit Ultimate Dragon. And I'm here to tell you about the other three cards. So let's start with Maiden of White, the level one light spellcaster tuner that has three hard once per turn effects. Firstly, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard to place the trap card True Light from your hand, deck, or graveyard face up in your spell and trap zone. Secondly, if you special summon Blue Eyes White Dragon while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. That gets you 9 stars and one of the two tuners required to summon this ultimate spirit dragon. And lastly, when a card or effect is activated that targets this card on the field, or when this card is targeted for an attack, you can special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon or a level 1 light tuner from your graveyard. Fans of the original Maiden with Eyes of Blue will recognize that last effect. Up next, we have a reference to that awesome commercial we saw for Yu-Gi-Oh! card game, The Chronicles. Prayers with the Eyes of Blue. Prayers with Eyes of Blue. This normal spell card with two effects that are each hard once per turn. Starting with, by discarding a card, you can add one level 1 light tuner and a spell or trap that mentions Blue Eyes White Dragon from your deck to your hand, except for a second copy of this. And secondly, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a Blue Eyes White Dragon you control, and equip a Blue Eyes monster from your extra deck to it as an equip spell that gives it 400 attack. That to me sounds like a pretty cool way of getting Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon in the graveyard to use with the effect of Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Last, but certainly not least, we have Saga of the Blue Eyed Dragon. You can only use one of the first and second effects of this card's name per turn, and only once that turn. But when activated from the hand, it special summons a Blue Eyes monster from your deck, graveyard, or banishment in defense position. But you can only special summon Blue Eyes White Dragon with this effect if you do not control it. And also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except dragon monsters. Additionally, if you haven't used the card's effect from the hand, you could banish this card from your graveyard instead to fusion summon a fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as material as long as it includes at least one blue eyes monster. There are some really cool noteworthy things about this, such as the reference to that Card Game Chronicles video, and that this is the first time that they have actually used this kind of artwork of Blue Eyes White Dragon in over a decade, where he does not have the shoulder spikes or the thumbs. It's been such a long time since this iteration of Blue Eyes White Dragon, and while he still has his wing bones, it's been amazing to see them actually honor the original framing of Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's also very interesting that True Light was printed, and it explains a lot of things, like the reprint of Blue Eyes Jet Dragon and Bingo Machine Go in the Rarity Collection too. A very commonly asked question is, which Blue Eyes White Dragons should we try to play? And I'm a pretty big fan of trying to play three different well, languages, Bingo especially Bingo. since the TCG allows you to do that, and that's what Kaiba did in the original manga. If I could play any Blue Eyes in my deck, it would be this one. But unfortunately, Platinum cards are not legal, so it has to go back on the shelf behind me. And I'm not actually sure on the legality of these ones, but these are also from the Kaiba briefcase, and they all match. What they lack, however, is a set ID and an addition, but I don't believe that that's necessary to play the cards, at which point you would have, again, a prismatic secret rare with the SDK artwork. 